What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right, I'm really beginning to enjoy these kind of outdoor testing jacket type videos and I think you guys are really getting um, some lots of information and value from these videos as well. So yeah, basically more winter jackets and testing them in the outdoors to see exactly how they stand up. In the last video that I did with the Carson versus the Quantum Pertex Y, what I thought I'll do this time around is do the Canada Goose Chili Whack because a lot of people did request for me to do some reviews on the Chili Whack and also I'll be covering the Canada Goose Windham jacket as well. Now these two jackets seem to be the popular jackets at the moment, the Chili Wax and the Windham. I've actually had quite a few of those in on my Instagram, Hoxton's Wardrobe. Now today what I'm gonna do is ch check out these two jackets, see which ones I feel are the warmest out of the two, give you my thoughts on the practicality of both of those jackets so you guys can be well informed when you're making your purchase decisions, okay? Today I'm wearing the Canada Goose Emery jacket. I'll be doing a review on this. I just picked up the jacket the other day and to be honest with you, it is, <laughs> it is super warm. Now the weather today is not too bad. You can see it's actually nine degrees Celsius. Last time it was eight degrees Celsius. I mean, I am wearing a Stone Island snoo which I picked up from the Stone Island outlet, so I was really lucky to get a hold of this piece. But the emery is keeping me super warm. Today doesn't feel as cold as the last time I was here. Some of our followers from Canada did say, Yeah, so apparently a lot of our Canada followers are super cold and I was just saying that boy I, I can't deal with them top of temperatures. Eight is good enough for me as it is. I don't feel I can go any more less than that, okay? But listen, let's waffle for me, gonna get straight onto this video testing these two jackets. So let's see exactly what the chili whack and the wind hammer saying, okay? Two seconds. Right, so, right, so, this is it guys. This is the Canada Goose Chili Whack Bomber Jacket, okay? So it's not a parka. So with the bomber jacket, what you'll find is it kind of sits above your waist. Also, what I find with the bomber jackets, um, like the Borden, which actually they don't make anymore, and the Canada Goose Chili Whack, which I think is the only kind of bomber with fur, in their collection is that it's a little bit oversized. In saying that, it's really weird because this is a size medium, but whereas I was an M medium to large before, I'm now definitely a large. I'm finding that the, the medium is a little bit too small for me, just a touch. I feel like it just comes up on the waist, just a little bit um, higher than what I would like. Also on the sleeve length as well, it's just a touch short. So I do feel like if you're an M or just a little bit between an M and an L, then the M is fine, but I think if you're a large with a chili whack, you probably want to just go for a large. Now, with the um, Canada Goose Chili Whack, the fur is not removable. Now, I know some people don't like um, to wear fur, so this one would not be advisable as the hood is um, permanent, it's not removable, and the fur trim does stay on the jacket. With the Chili Whack, I feel super warm, so it does provide a lot of warmth. Again, when you're walking around, you're going to be generating heat, you're gonna have warmth inside your body, okay? In terms of warmth, the Canada Goose is a very, very warm jacket. Now remember, the only downside I would say with the Chili Whack is that it does not go past your hips, so you're, you're gonna be exposed below your hip. Unlike the Macmillan, unlike the um, Carsons, the Langfords, the Emery, and also the Maitlands, they either sit on your hip or some of them go below your hip, so you're getting that extra bit of protection. That my top half of this jacket, I feel, I feel, possibly pr provides more warmth than the Maitland or the Macmillan because I just feel like there's more effort being put to the top half of this jacket. And as I said, it's a little bit loose, so I'm definitely feeling the warm air circulating in my body as I'm moving around. Um, in terms of warmth, I would probably give this a seven and a half out of 10. Practicality is really good as well. We've got about four pockets um, on the top of the jacket. All of the pockets are fleeced as well. So if you're feeling cold or if your hands are a little bit wet from rain, put them inside your pocket, rummage them around and they will get a little bit dry, okay? Right, so listen, let's test drive it against the Windham. Let's see exactly what the Windham Park is saying, okay? Two seconds. One of the things that I forgot to remember as well is that the badge on the Canada Goose Chili Wax, sometimes they can appear on the other side. So if you do see a Canada Goose, don't panic guys, because 
Yes, it is true. Sometimes on the chili wrap, they do appear on the other side. So, right guys, so the next jacket I'm actually trying on now is the Canada Goose Wind Ham Parker. Now, lots of people really, really like the Windham Parker. It's a very, very popular model. Um, I've actually sold quite a few Windham Parkers now, but I've actually managed to source another one here in a size small. So it is too small for me, but unfortunately, I don't have any mediums in stock to kind of share with you guys because they've just gone that quickly. The first thing for me, and this is just personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Windham shape. Now, in saying that, as I said before, it is super, super popular. So lots of people do actually really Really like the Windham. I just feel like the shape, I prefer the Maitland or the Macmillan. Those are more the shapes for me. But in saying that, the Windham is a super warm parka. Now the main difference that I personally noticed from the Windham is it's got this nicer, long pocket. I do like that pocket style. Now within those two pockets on the side of the jacket, there's two internal separate pockets in the large big pocket on either side. In terms of storage and compartments, you've got lots of that on the front of this jacket. Warmth wise, the jacket is pretty much similar to the um, Canada Goose Macmillan and the Maitland in terms of the thickness and in terms of the amount of down insulation inside the jacket. The jacket does come with a removable hood that is going to be a benefit. So for example, like the Macmillan, the hood doesn't come off. The Carson Long Parker, the hood doesn't come off. So if you're looking for something where the hood comes off and you want that kind of to the hip Parker, um, Parker style jacket like the Macmillan or the Maitland, then, then the Canada Goose Windham is definitely um, a, a jacket worth you checking out. Again, water resistant, windproof, like the rest of the Parker Canada Goose jackets. It does use Canada Goose's Arctic Tech technology, which is exclusive to um, Canada Goose. In terms of warmth, which one I feel is warmer, I, I do actually feel like the Chili Wax is a warmer jacket. The Chili Wax just got so much puff and room at the top that I just feel like it's, it just sits heavier at the top of on the top of your body and I do actually feel like it's um, warmer. Now in, term, in terms of warmth, I would probably rate this one. It's warm, don't get me wrong, but warmth, practicality, the overall jacket, I would give this one a 7 out of 10 guys. I actually prefer the Chili Wax to the wind hand, but that's just my personal opinion. These are two different um, two different jackets in terms of style. So I guess if you're deciding what one to go for, it's do you mind having the bomber jacket and then having not as much protection on your hip? If you want something, as I said, that's gonna give you a little tiny bit more protection on the hip, then the wind hand is definitely one to go for. So guys, I mean, that is literally it. That is the test drive of the two jackets. Um, the wind ham is great for more. The benefits of the wind ham is because it's not as puffy or as big sitting on your body as a chili wax, it's ideal deal for you know when you're just kind of traveling going to and from work in the city it's really kind of ideal with that whereas the chili whack whereas the chili whack you probably could get pretty warm pretty quick it, you know it's that much of a warm jacket also it's quite puffy so it, uh, not it's not a big deal but probably not as practical as the wind ham whereas the wind ham it's a little bit more flat. The, ch the chili wax puffs up a little bit more, so you're probably just gonna be able to move around a little bit, just a, a touch easier, and if you're on the tube and the train, it's probably gonna be a little bit more comfortable, okay? I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you wanna find more Canada Goose or more winter jackets, jump on to our website, thehoxandtrend.com. Thehoxandtrend.com is your number one shopping destination for you guys to discover new items online, new retailers, new brands in a safe environment, okay? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, don't forget to follow our Facebook, group Hoxton's Marketplace which is popping we've just got 3,300 followers on there let me know which jackets you want to see me do some outdoor tests guys okay if you want to see more outdoor tests with different jackets leave some comments in the comments box below and I will make sure to respond to as many comments as I can okay guys I'm out of here lots more coming peace out